We just had a taste of what 2027 awaits us in Tahiti. Merci beaucoup, Tahiti. The Honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Sogavari, the uh, Governor General of Solomon Islands, Heads of State and Heads of Government, Cabinet Ministers, Sports Ministers, Presidents and Secretary Generals of PGAs, Members of ONOC and OSFO, representatives of international sporting federations, visiting dignitaries, athletes of the 24 member countries of the Pacific, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of my executive board, I welcome you all to the closing ceremony of the 17th Pacific Games held here in Honiara, in the Solomon Islands. We came from all corners of the Pacific to give credence to the purpose and objectives of these games, as promulgated by our forefathers when they established and hosted the first Pacific Games in Suva, Fiji in 1963. These games have been a gift from them to us, the future generation of Pacific Islanders. For us to meet, create bonds of kindred, friendship and brotherhood among the people of the Pacific region through sporting exchanges between us without any distinction of race, gender, or politics. We continue to live the dreams of our forefathers and deliver on the purpose of these games when we meet every two years, be it at the Pacific Mini Games or the Pacific Games. The 17th Pacific Games was no exception. The government and the people of Solomon Islands, under the leadership of their Prime Minister, Mr. Sogabare, by hosting these games, not only united and strengthened the bond between the peoples of Solomon Islands, but also between the peoples of the Pacific. Mr. Prime Minister, when our 2016 General Assembly voted and decided that we would meet in Honiara in 2023 for the 17th Pacific Games, many wondered if the Council had made the right choice. Would Solomon Islands be able to organize such a huge event? This doubt lingered in the minds of many, and as late as last year, they were doubting on your ability to leave, deliver these games on time. We commend you, Mr. Prime Minister, for your vision for your commitment, and most of all, for your faith in your own people. We commend you in engaging a small bird of band of experts with experience in delivering successful Pacific Games in the recent past, empowering them and providing them with the necessary resources to deliver these games. Whilst you gave the responsibility of organizing and delivering the games 
to the National Hosting Authority and to the Games Organizing Committee, the most dis difficult aspect is the weather for the two weeks. And I'm told very confidentially that the Prime Minister took the responsibility to organize the weather for us. He did it extremely well, and I think the athletes would want to thank him for providing us with the weather that enabled us to complete our games in time. The organizing committee, under the leadership of its CEO, Peter Stewart, working with thousands of volunteers and workforce staff, spending countless sleepless hours they, in your own Solomon way, overcame many challenges, some huge, some not so huge, some of our own making and some outside of our own control, delivered what I consider to be the biggest Pacific Games ever. We thank the National Hosting Authority Chairman, Dr. Jimmy Rogers, and his board for their oversight and contribution in make, making these games so successful. They delivered a games of which every Solomon Islander should be proud. You provided us with world-class sporting facilities. Many of them completed and handed over months before the opening of the Games. You housed us in very comfortable Games villages with excellent and quality meals at the dining room. <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister, you and the Solomon Islands and the PGA of Solomon Islands had many critics. But you silenced your critics and emphatically proved them wrong. For us to have the Prime Minister of Solomon Islands as the Minister for the Games was a bonus. Mr. Prime Minister or Minister for the Games, we thoroughly enjoyed working with you and we find you a very productive and a, the working relationship you created to us helped us in de delivering our wonderful games. Now it is time for us to say our goodbyes as we prepare to leave the shores of Solomon Islands. We thank you and the people of Solomon Islands for your kindness, for your generosity, and for your hospitality. And for being such a wonderful host. We leave behind a changed Honiara perhaps a more modern Honiara. We leave behind wonderful sporting facilities. We leave behind a large band of Solomon Islanders trained and experienced in the art of delivering major sporting events. To the volunteers, officials, members of the workforce, sponsors and donor governments, on behalf of the athletes of the Pacific, I thank you most sincerely for the part you played in making these games so successful and memorable. Please take part, take pride in the knowledge that your efforts 
made it all possible. To the athletes of the Pacific, I thank you for being part of this very successful 17 Pacific Games. My congratulations, first of all, to the Nickelodeon team for topping the medal tally once again. And secondly, to all the medal winners, my congratulations. And to those who missed out at these games, please be reminded that your turn will come, perhaps at the next games, maybe in Palau or in Tahiti. In closing these games, in the name of the Pacific Games Council, I proclaim the 17th Solomon Islands 2023 Pacific Games closed. <laughs>